Hello everyone, in this video we will walk you through Zoho Science latest feature, Portals. So what is the multi-portal feature? To improve multiple account accessibility, Zoho Sign allows users to configure multiple organizations called portals and manage them from one account with a common login credential. Users can easily swap between portals whenever required. This feature is very handy for businesses that manage multiple brands or send documents out to various departments. With portals, you can manage multiple organizations effortlessly with just one Zoho account. In this video, we will look at how to create a new portal, how to configure a default portal, how to edit your organization details, how to add users to a portal, how to view and switch between portals, how to delete your portal. Creating a new portal First, let us start by looking at creating a new portal in Zoho Sign. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, click on the drop-down at the top right corner and click on Manage. Then, click on Plus New Portal. Enter the name of your portal and click Create. Once a portal is created, you can mark it as the default portal. Configuring a default portal A default portal is what you will see after you log into Zoho Sign. The first account that you create while signing up will be your default portal initially, but you can change this as you create more portals if needed. Let us now look at how to set a portal as the default portal. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, click on the drop-down at the top right corner. Scroll down from the list of portals and click on Manage. Click on the three dots next to the portal name and click Set as Default. Read the disclaimer and click on Yes to proceed. With this, you have configured your default portal. How to edit your organization details Now that we have looked at creating new portals and setting a default portal, let us look at editing organization details such as organization name, address and logo. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, go to Settings. Go to Organization Details. Here you can edit details such as organization name, address and logo. Click Save. Adding users to a portal. Zoho Sign users who are already part of an account can be added and invited to multiple portals. To do so, open the desired portal. From the dashboard, go to Settings. Click Users and then click on Add Users. Enter the email addresses of the users you wish to add. Click Invite. Users will be able to accept the invitation from another account without abandoning their existing account. Also, note that users can only accept the invitation for these accounts from the invitation email that they receive. Viewing and switching between portals Once you have created multiple portals, you will likely have to access them often or switch between them. Let us look at how to do so. To view any portal, click on the drop-down near the notification icon in the top right corner. You will find your portals listed. Click on the portal you would like to access or view. To switch between portals, from your Zoho Sign dashboard, click on the drop-down at the top right corner. You can see all your portals listed here. Click on the desired portal from the drop-down to switch. Deleting a portal 
If you are the admin, you can delete any portals that are no longer needed. Let us look at how to do this. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, click on the drop down at the top right corner. Scroll down from the list of portals and click on Manage. Click on the three dots next to the portal's name. Click on Delete. Click on Close to delete your Zoho Sign portal. Your account has now been deleted. Kindly note that all the documents and data associated with the portal will be deleted and a portal cannot be recovered once it is deleted. For this reason, we recommend that users configure automatic cloud backup across portals. Subscription Details Each portal is considered as a separate setup and you can choose plans and number of users accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. You can send any questions to support at zohosign.com.